How can you shorten your training session duration while not hurting muscle growth? Supersets are one proposed way. They involve performing two exercises with minimal rest and then resting before performing however many more sets you desire. Antagonist supersets are quite popular. These involve supersetting two exercises that train opposing muscle groups, such as a biceps and triceps exercise. Previous research suggests antagonist supersets do not hurt your training performance. That is, you can perform approximately a similar number of total repetitions on your exercises to normal sets, even though the work is in a smaller amount of time. We also have two studies suggesting antagonist supersets produced similar hypertrophy to normal sets. However, these two studies just involved two exercises, and the subjects were untrained. Luckily, this brand new study examined antagonist supersets with multiple exercises in trained subjects. 43 trained individuals were recruited to train these exercises twice per week for 8 weeks. Four sets of 8-12 reps to momentary failure were performed for each exercise every session. A normal group performed all sets on one exercise before moving on to the next exercise. They rested 2 minutes between sets. A superset group supersetted the lat pulldown with the Smith Machine bench press, the leg curl with the leg extension, and the biceps curl with the pushdown. It took them around 20 seconds to transition between the supersetted exercises, and they rested 2 minutes between sets. This resulted in the training session being approximately 36% shorter. Training performance was not meaningfully different between both sessions, although subjects rated the supersets as being harder. Thus, the supersets did not reduce the number of reps they could complete to failure even though it felt harder overall for the subjects. It was ultimately found muscle growth was similar between both groups. Strength and endurance gains were also similar between both groups. It's worth mentioning the superset group did report more nausea than the normal group, but this did reduce over time. As a result, the researchers suggest slowly introducing supersets into your routine. For example, you may train further from failure on your supersetted exercises or perform fewer total sets, and then you progress over time. Thus, if it interests you, feel free to experiment with antagonist supersets in your program where you feel it can be suitable. Lastly, although there's currently no direct research on this, I would guess non-related supersets should also be fine. This is where you superset exercises that train non-related muscle groups, such as a biceps exercise with a calf exercise.